we talk about central limit theorem and we write uh, a code to demonstrate that in python uh, central limit theorem it is simply the distribution of sample means approximates gaussian normal that means you take uh, some samples whatever the underlying distribution doesn't matter it can be normal it can be uniform it can be any other distribution whatever they are but you take several samples of say of 100 samples uh, of samples of size 100 and such uh, you take some samples such samples suppose this is a sample this is another sample this is another sample of some uh, uh, some numbers and you take the mean of them you take the mean of them you take the mean of them and you make a distribution and you see the distribution emerges as a Gaussian or normal distribution so that is a very uh, peculiar but very important theorem in statistics so let us go to the computer and do that in we do it in anaconda python jupyter notebook okay to show this in python uh, first uh, concentrate on the on this this lines so we first import numpy as np and to display we import uh, matplotlib.pyplot plot as plt well uh, how do we create samples for example if we write uh, np if we write uh, say np dot random dot uniform and the this will create uniform number uh, the random numbers from a uniform distribution well if we uh, write 0 to 1 it will create distribution from 0 to 1 but by default it creates numbers between 0 and 1 so I don't have to give write 0 and 1 if I write size uh, equal to say 100 for example so it will create 100 random numbers from uniform distribution let me check it first okay oh first I have to run this uh, it will take a little time because uh, it, I'm doing it for the first time here we have to import two modules well done next uh, yeah so we have created say 100 uh, a sample of 100 random numbers for example now I want to create the I want to calc compute the mean of those numbers well I can take help of numpy np dot mean function and since since it is an one dimensional array there is no problem so I can write this and it will create the mean of it will compute the mean of these numbers 100 numbers so I have a sample of 100 random numbers from uniform distribution and I now have the mean of those numbers let me remove this okay now uh, I write this exactly this np dot mean inside that np dot random dot uniform and I write here 0 to 1 I need not write and the size equal to 100 so it's a sample of 100 random numbers and I calculate the mean okay and I will use this sample many many times I will use such kind of samples uh, I'll take such samples say 1000 or 10,000 times or so okay so um, so better I write this as a uh, function so that you can repeat this so I write as a lambda function Python lambda function since I don't need any argument because uh, it does not depend on any other argument only repeatedly doing this so I have not written any argument so it's an empty argument function so uh, uh, and I rename this as uh, I name this as uh, sample so my sample is a function which is equal to lambda colon rest of the thing okay and now here I am doing this uh, as a list comprehension method 
sample as an empty argument function so sample is a function and I do this for something because there is no argument I, we don't need any argument so I write this underscore underscore in Python is anonymous variable I don't have to name any variable I can give any uh, dummy in name but it is not required so for underscore in range 10,000 that means it will create 10,000 samples okay so let me run this well if, if I want to see what is X it will show what is X all those 10,000 means each each number is a mean of 100 samples right because this sample is a mean of the sample function creates the mean of 100 random numbers okay and such 10,000 numbers let me also remove this so let me uh, now plot this pl plot and histogram of those 10,000 sample means okay so x is this and I write beans equal to 40 that means I want to create 40 beans out of them and uh, to see it clearly I write, write this h color uh, that is a keyword argument in hist equal to black let me now run this yeah yes so it will show me the result also numerical uh, values also this is the part wh where it talks about wh where it writes the frequencies right how many of them are there there in one bin and uh, these are the bins uh, the 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 uh, uh, the uh, limits of the bins on, on the two sides okay and so the you see the distribution is this so it's a magic we, we took uh, uh, uniform random numbers then we uh, uh, took the 100 such random numbers uniform random numbers so that is my one sample then we took the mean and we took took such samples 10,000 times various samples and we did the mean uh, distribution of that and that is a uh, Gaussian or normal distribution we take more and more samples we take more and more uh, numbers of samples more bigger size of samples and more and more samples so this uh, distribution Gaussian distribu distribution will be more pronounced well let me now do this for dice throwing the same exercise so dice throwing means one dice uh, die it has six faces so it will create numbers between a number from one two three four five six right so if I use rand int and I write one to seven so it will uh, create random integers between one to seven so it is it will mimic as a die okay and I write size equal to n that means how many such die I want to create okay so if I if I now if I now write say for example if I now write uh, say uh, np dot random dot rand int and one to seven of course it will create one number between so I throw the dice once so if I take a write also uh, uh, also size equal to say four that means I am taking four dice that means we'll uh, get four random numbers between random integers between one to six now you see if I run this I'll uh, get a collection of four numbers that means from the first die I get two from the second I get six from the third I get three and the, from the fourth I get two and so on so this I am going to use here so I okay so I write here size equal to n and again now I write this as a function so this time it is lambda n so I will increase uh, I will take different size, sizes of uh, samples so if I write n equal to 1 my sample size is 1 that means I take one die if I take n equal to 2 I have a sample size of 2 if I take 5 dice if I take 10 dice if I take 100 dice so it will be given by this random numbers I'll in earlier example all the samples of or same size here I want to show four different sizes and how they 
become uh, 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 eventually the Gaussian distribution that I want to show you. Okay, fine. So, so this is the function. So I call it say x. Okay, and I want to take samples of sizes one, that means single die, two dice, five dice, and ten dice. Okay, and four sample sizes. I I told you that if I increase the sample size, the distribution will be more and more pronounced towards the uh, Gaussian distribution. Okay, and I am writing this in at one go. And I write this as a for loop for n in this uh, this uh, list of numbers. So sometimes n is one, next two, next five, next ten. And I do the same exercise. I write x of n. What is x? X is this function which creates the mean, which uh, talks, uh, uh, computes the mean of those uh, uh, random numbers of si of size n, right? So x n, I take x n for i. So i is of course again uh, uh, n is given by this, but i i i is a dummy. I could write also underscore because i does not matter. The name doesn't matter in range ten thousand. That means I am doing this exercise of uh, taking n samples, size n samples for 10,000 times okay and I want to actually plot uh, four different cases together so I for that I write in one for loop inside one for loop okay so this is any first it will take n equal to one then it will calculate this uh, uh, it will create this list of mean values from the uh, uh, the samples and then I want to plot but instead of uh, normal plot, I do it with subplot. Subplot 2, 2 and the uh, it will be if I want to uh, plot 4 samples, 4 different things. Uh, so I have to create some 4 by 4 matrix. So it's a 2 by 2, 2, 2 and then k equal to 1 means this is the first quadrant. So I write k equal to 1 outside the loop. So I give it 1. So first it is 2 to 1. That means 2 to 1 position, it will create a subplot. And then I want to write as plt as hist dot hist. The same thing, I write it here as xx. The xx means 40. And uh, to normalize, I write uh, density equal to true. That means it will be probability density function, kind of that. And uh, h color is black. Okay. And for the next plot, I take uh, I update k equal to k plus one. That means for the next plot, n equal to two, and here it will be two to two. That means second quadrant, quadrant, and so on. So I uh, want to plot four graphs together, and uh, k values take automatically uh, by this updating. And at the end, I write plt dot show. Although uh, here I don't have to write, but if you want to write on interpreter, Python interpreter, you have to write later plt dot show. Well, now I want to first I run this and then run this. Okay, it will take little time. Well, so here are the four graphs together. So first, it is for n equal to one. That means uh, since it is a die, it has six faces. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, for the for one uh, around one. So the uh, probability the or the frequency all are will be same because it will be uniform. Because if you take one die, the probability of getting one, two, three, four, five, six all are just one by six. Okay, um, if we uh, properly. Uh, normalize them, them okay here we have normalized between I think something uh, uh, so they have done it to it is how many numbers we have taken that uh, depending on that and uh, for the second I it is for the graph of a if I take n equal to 2 that means we have taken two die two dice and uh, take the mean of the uh, I mean the sample size is 2 and uh, it is already different from the uniform distribution. Next, I take n equal to 5. 
it is closer to a normal distribution and the for the uh, fourth when I take uh, n equal to say 10 so it is becoming more and more uh, Gaussian or normal distribution so it depends uh, how many uh, what is my sample size of course if we make the sample size bigger and bigger and uh, take many more samples the mean of those samples become a Gaussian distribution here also if we take if you take the sample size say for example one say for example that means each random number separately sample size is a trivial one if we would also do that we would sh can show you that it is uh, basically a uh, uniform distribution more numbers we take the bars will be of the of almost of the same size but if we take n equal size equal to 2 say for example that means sample size 2 and then I want to see the plot uh, it is already uh, becoming uh, uh, something like uh, some picked distribution and if we take n equal to say more than 2 say 4 it will be become even more pronounced and w in our case we took n equal to 100 you see already for four sample size is already it is a Gaussian distribution so it is a very nice uh, uh, exercise that you take uh, here I, uh, we take uniform distribution but you can take any kind of distribution doesn't matter uh, random numbers any kind of random numbers from any kind of distribution and you take the uh, samples of some particular size and then uh, take the distribution of this sample means it will become uh, Gaussian distribution at the end so that uh, that is the end of this